In this tutorial, we will teach you how to remove tan lines on an image in Photoshop. For this tutorial, we will be working on this particular stock image over here. Notice that the tan lines are quite visible in the image, so let's get started with removing these tan lines in Photoshop. First of all, we will change the image color mode to lab color. For that, you need to move over to the image menu on top. Hover over the mode option and select the lab color option from the menu that opens up. With the help of this mode, we will be able to independently influence both the A channel, which is the green-red axis, and the B channel, which is the blue-yellow axis. With that done, let's zoom in on the tan lines a bit so that we can make a proper selection of the area. Now let's pick up the polygonal lasso tool from the menu on the left and carefully make a selection around the tan lines on the skin. Make sure that you follow the exact pattern of the tan lines from top to bottom. Now when you position the polygonal lasso tool over the starting point and click, the selection will be made. With the selection active, move over to the Layers panel and open up the Adjustment Layer menu by clicking on this button over here. From the menu, we will select the Levels Adjustment option. Notice that this automatically creates a new layer with the area of the selection masked within the layer. From this point onwards, whatever changes we will make will only be applied to the masked area, that is, the tanned area of the skin. For this tutorial, we have used a non-destructive method for adding the effects to this image. To revert the changes, all you have to do is either play with the mask, or if you want to start all over again, just delete the adjustment layer. This way, the original image is kept intact. On the other hand, if you use the Spot Healing Brush tool, the original texture of the image gets ruined, and no matter how efficiently you might use the tool, there will remain irregular midtones and highlights. So working with adjustment layers is a very good alternative. Moving on, let's head back towards the menu on the left. Open up the Eyedropper Tool menu by pressing the Option, and once the new menu opens up, select the Color Sampler tool. This will help us sample the darker and lighter shades of the skin tone so that we can identify and make changes accordingly. With that done, let's hover over the darker portion of the skin tone and click over there to grab the color sample. You can press the F8 key on the keyboard to open up the info panel. This would help you see the readings on both the samples we're going to take. You can see over here that the first sample is already showing over here. Now we will use the tool to grab a lighter tone so that we can make the lighter tone the same as darker tone. Once you are done with taking the samples, open up the Levels Adjustment panel and select the A channel from the drop-down menu. This is to equalize the colors a bit. With that done, increase the mid-range to match the reading of the second sample. Notice that as you adjust the mid-tones, the values of the channel A in the info panel keep on changing. Over here, you can see that if we set the value to 1.3, the values of both the samples match. Also notice that as we change the values here, the selection starts to blend in with the skin tone a bit. With that taken care of, now select the channel B from the list, and over here, we will match the readings of both the samples as well. This channel will control the yellows and the blues in the image, so let's set the midpoint here to 1.05 and move the white point, or the highlights, inwards a bit setting the value to 254. You can see over here that the values of the channel B in both samples are matching up. Once you are done with both these channels, let's open up the lightness channel and increase the darkness so that it matches with the skin tone. For that, we will set the shadows, or the black arrow on the left, to 2, mid-range to 0.77, and highlights to 254 for the input levels. You can experiment with different values according to the image you are working on. Now let's close the Adjustment panel and the Info panel over here, and move to the toolbar on the left to pick up the Brush tool. We will use the Brush tool here to mask out the sharp edges of the Levels Adjustment layer and blend it with the skin tone. Make sure you use a soft brush for this purpose, and keep the opacity of the brush below 40%. Before we start applying the brush, you have to keep the foreground color to black and the background color to white, as you can see over here. This way, when we start applying the brush, the area will be masked off accordingly. Now let's start applying the brush over the edges of the layer like so. Make sure you cover the entire layer and use the brush tool in one single stroke instead of applying it again and again over a single area. As we keep applying the brush, notice how the edges are being masked off, resulting in softer edges. Now that we are done with that, you can see that there are still some sharp edges visible here. 
So first, let's pick up the polygonal lasso tool and make a rough selection to cover only the edges of the layer, like so. Once done, go to the filter menu on top, move over to blur, and then click on the Gaussian blur option. For this tutorial, we have kept the radius to 5.5. You can experiment with different values according to the image you are working on. Once we hit OK and remove the selection by pressing Ctrl D, you can see that the area has blended in well with the skin tone. If there are still some sharp edges left in the image, you can tweak them by picking up the brush tool, setting different levels of opacity, and carefully applying it over the edges to mask them out and blend the tan lines in with the skin tone. Now let's zoom out of the image and hide the levels adjustment layer for now. This was the original image, and this is what it would look like after adding the effects. You can see that we have successfully removed the tan lines on this image in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.